These paintings are among the oldest in the world. A window into the minds of our ancestors. They were found decades ago in caves in Indonesia. But recently, scientists have managed to date them. The paintings are much older than anybody expected, causing scientists to rethink the history of early human creativity. Uh, here we are at the Antipusen, and this is a very important rock art panel to uh, understand human evolution. On the right here we have um, a hand stencil, and the minimum age for that hand stencil is uh, 39.9 thousand years. And this is the oldest hand stencil in the world. And on the left here, we have a depiction of a barbarous pig deer. And the minimum age for that painting is 35.4 thousand years ago. And that makes it the oldest figurative depiction in the world. It, it's a very nice uh, detailed painting. We can see uh, the, the little legs, the tail, um, the hair, I think maybe at the back of the neck. And those animals are really rare today. They're almost extinct. Finding animals and hand stencils created so long ago in Asia is a real surprise, because until now, the focus has been on Europe. On charcoal paintings like these from the Chauvet cave in France, and on small sculptures found in caves in Germany. So we have representational art in Europe from at least 35,000 years ago, and I have a couple of examples here, not put onto the walls of caves, but sculpted examples. So these are replicas of little statuettes of animals made from mammoth ivory. Here we have a representation of a horse and a mammoth. And these were found in German caves and the remains are dated 35 to 40,000 years ago. And there's been a view that there was a sort of creative explosion when modern humans arrived in Europe that triggered this tremendous creativity that we find in the cave art. And that view really also suggested that the art we find in other parts of the world came later and developed independently in those different regions. But the new work suggests that our ancestors were painting in Europe and Asia at the same time, creating murals that may have covered the ceilings and walls of their caves. Unfortunately, only remnants of their artworks remain. Sometimes we can see the full hand stencil, but uh, most of the paintings are gone. And I think like the, maybe like 99% of all of the paintings here are gone. And what we can see today is only the uh, remnant of the, of us was a, a, like a fully painted panel. In the early 1980s, there were a lot of cave paintings on this site in the form of hand stencils, as you can see. Now, a lot has been damaged through exfoliation, pieces falling off, and others are covered by calcium carbonate. The calcium carbonate deposits, which contain radioactive uranium, gave the team a way of dating the paintings. I'm not able to date the paint layer itself, but here on top of the painting, we have the cave popcorn and the calcium carbonate layer, they're really, really small layers. It's like a stalactite or a stalagmite in a, in a, in a cave at a very micro scale. And these are formed on top of the painting, but sometimes also you have layers under the uh, painting. So, so if we can get a sample on top of the paint layer, and then it becomes a minimum age for the painting. And, and if we can date the layer under the painting, then we have a maximum age. If the new dates are right, and the Indonesian cave art is at least as old, if not older, than the paintings in Europe, then art didn't emerge first in Europe. Instead, it's likely that the ancestors of Europeans and Asians were artists. So I think this suggests that modern humans had this creativity, this artistic expression with them when they spread out of Africa. And of course, this art was ultimately taken right across Asia, down into Southeast Asia, eventually into Australia and New Guinea. And I think that some of the art in Australia will also eventually be dated to this very early time.